I'm here with uh, Felix Ho, who is the CEO of YFY Group. And Felix just gave the uh, closing keynote here at the IDTechX uh, event. And uh, Felix, um, uh, you know, for those folks that were not able to attend this event, right, uh, I would like for you to sort of summarize what are some things you said at the event? What are some key points that you want uh, people to know about emerging technologies? Well, so, you know, obviously Wi-Fi and E-Ink has been in this space for a very, very long time. We've been watching this space for well over a decade and a half. And a lot of the ideas that started this has yet to be realized. Uh, it's not because the technology is moving slow, but a lot of this requires infrastructure. And the infrastructure is always slow t uh, to take. Uh, but we think you know, a lot of infrastructure are being built and uh, the future where every node has sensors and displays will be coming and we continue to be uh, watching the space very, very closely. So within the YFI group, uh, uh, you mentioned E-Ink. So E-Ink has had a lot of success outside of e-readers more recently. What are a couple of applications that you think will have broad industry uh, implications, particularly as the ecosystem develops, a lot of companies can jump in provide accessory materials and support and services to make those industries happen. So, so one of the, the, the most uh, relevant to printed electronics and flexible electronics uh, is certainly wearables. Uh, that is being picked up. Uh, Sony launched a uh, product with uh, our integrated curve display this, this month. Uh, but you know, beyond kind of the consumer electronics, uh, electronic shelf label is a big thing. Uh, we are scheduled to ship perhaps over 30 million uh, of these in the field, uh, but 30 million is just proof of concept in the retail world, right? Uh, we believe that eventually every item, every skill will require a changeable price tag. And this is because if you have capability to do real-time pricing through RFID, you will need the capability to do real-time pricing uh, on those real-time inventory. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way to capture those values. So we think that is very, very, very big. And then beyond that, you know, you extend this all through the logistic change. Every single piece of paper, every single Kanban that you see in the manufacturing and logistic should be replaced with an updatable, uh, RF updatable re display. And for power reasons and for uh, readability reasons, they should be in. Of course, of course. And my uh, one last question for you is, uh, obviously there were over uh, 2,500 people that attended the events the last couple of days here today to uh, attend not only really the talks, yeah. but go through the uh, exhibits and so on. But there are a lot of people that were not here. Yeah. Right? What is your sort of message to folks, particularly those in uh, Taiwan, Korea, China, some of the emerging markets, um, yeah. Uh, about events like this and other events where you have core technologies being presented, emerging markets and so on. Yeah. What is your message to folks like that? Well, I, I think it's twofold. One is, you know, particularly in Asia, and, and I think particularly for China, uh, there's the possibility to leapfrog in infrastructure. And in those cases, I think emerging technologies will emerge faster in those markets. You, know, you look at for example, the U.S. credit card market uh, has stayed pretty much the same, uh, whereas places like China has leapfrog uh, in terms of payments and in terms of technology. Those are opportunities uh, where I think Asia may have a stronger opportunity to leapfrog. Uh, and so they need to be watching these very, very closely. The other is, I think, we need to be continuously, continuously looking at these emerging technologies, uh, even though there may not be an immediate um, application uh, today. Uh, understanding the technology allows you to think about the technology as it happens. In the future. In the future. Right. And to be able to take advantage of that future, you start to build the infrastructure today. Right. Uh, and th I think that's, that's at least how Wi-Fi has been looking at it for the last 20 years. Yeah, wonderful. Felix, I know you're a busy guy, but greatly appreciate that you're being here, and uh, thank you for that inspirational message. Thank you.